No matter where you decide to live in the world, there's going to be some pros and cons, but luckily for you, I'm going to try and save you some time. I'm going to give you my fact, my truth, or now this sounds like my opinion, on Tacoma, Washington and the pros and cons of it. My name is George Rodriguez with EXP Realty. I'm a realtor here in the state of Washington. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's get to it. Since fear is what drives clicks and elevates the retention, we're going to talk about the cons first. And the absolute worst con is going to be the crime rate associated with Tacoma. You know, there's a good reason why the nickname, if you didn't know, is Tecompton. You know, it is what it is, and the entire Pierce County and King County is not too good as well. But Tacoma is the absolute worst in the entire state. I am not a criminal when it comes to the crime rates. Now this resume of Hall of Fame crime data statistics is brought to you from Neighborhood Scout. And it's gonna detail certain things like this. To be a victim of violent crime in the state of Washington, you have a one in 266 chance. In Tacoma, you have a one in 63 chance. To be a victim of property crime, get this, in Tacoma, you have a one in 12 chance. In comparison to the state of Washington, you have a one in 30. From their data and statistics, they do believe that Tacoma is going to be one of the highest crime rates in the entire country. Believe me, Seattle is not too far behind. Now, if no one is telling you this, they don't have your best interest at heart. So here I am winning these brownie points. Now that was the absolute worst con you're going to hear today. So let's bring it back a notch, okay? The next con we're going to talk about is going to be the traffic you're going to face if you're living in Tacoma. Because regardless if you're going north to Seattle Bellevue or going south to Joint Base Lewis McCord, you're going to get hit with traffic. Using a map is going to be the best way to really give you a good representation on where traffic really starts and how you're going to see it. Now you can dodge most of this traffic by leaving at five o'clock. Uh, in most cases, of course, you're going south. Most of the military service members like myself used to be there. They're probably gonna be clocking in around like six or so. So it really starts getting packed when they're starting to get to the gates. Now for Tacoma, you're going to have this right here. And then if you're going south right here to Joint Base Lewis McCord, most of it's gonna start getting hit probably around this section right here for the main gate section. You'll get some right here on the side gates, but of course no one cares about the Air Force. Go Army, baby. All right, continue on. Now, if you're going up north into Seattle from Tacoma, most of it's going to get backed up right, right around here. And this is gonna be where Emerald Queen Casino generally is. And that turn section from uh, the Tacoma Dome to Emerald Queen Casino really gets backed up for some reason during this five section, because that's where a lot of the logistics for you know the big um, semi trucks are going to be uh, delivering in all the goods. So then as you curl up right here, this is the last leg of where it really gets backed up. And then you're just praying the entire time that no one uh, falls asleep at the wheel and smacks somebody because then the entire morning is screwed uh, when it comes to trying to get past uh, the crash that ultimately does happen almost every week. But of course, that is what it is when you're trying to go into the larger metropolitan areas across in the entirety of the United States. Now, hopefully I'm doing good. And the way you tell me if I'm doing good is a comment section down below and you can voice your opinions. Now, I don't have to ask for Tacoma to give their opinion because Tacoma will do it for you. You don't have to ask, okay? Now, the next con, in my personal opinion, is going to be the transients and the homelessness problem that's going to be present within Tacoma. Now, this is a Washington in general thing. If you think it's bad in Tacoma, just take a look at Seattle when it comes to the homelessness, all right? It's pretty bad. But what really irks me about it is because personally, I live in the east side. Now, me driving all the way through and going through where I need to go, you always see the transients or the homeless camps that are going to be present very vocally in your area. And honestly, it's an eyesore no matter where you go. Now, I remember before I seen a homeless camp pretty close to an elementary school. And honestly, it pissed me off because I don't want kids to see that. But you can't you can't hide kids from it. But unfortunately, you don't want them to drive through the possibility or walk through the possibility of something happening on their way to school. But of course, Tacoma has gotten better with the homeless problem, but no matter what, with affordability being where it is in the entire country, there's going to be a problem for homelessness, especially if it's going to be accepted and actually assisted, unfortunately, which how it is in the state of Washington in general. Now, if you are still here, props to you because a lot of people would have been scared off already. So that, that means you might just be good enough for Tacoma. You can't be soft here. I ain't scared of shit. The next con is going to be the division between each section of Tacoma. For example, I live in the east side and the east side can be a little bit more rougher. You gotta pay attention to which section you're going to be living in, which neighborhood. And if you're deciding to live within any portion of Tacoma, probably except the north end, 
you have to really do a drive around to see if it's good enough for you and good enough to feel the safety that you feel could probably present well for yourself or if you even have a family. Now, for the north end of Tacoma, they have a lot of the higher purchase price points because they are closer to the water, they're closer to Ruston, and that feel and view. Now, with that, in comparison to the southern portion, when you start getting closer to Parkland and Spanaway, they have a little bit more of the new construction because there was more land back in the day. But even then, you still have to take the opportunity to actually drive around and see if it's good or for you. So if you're deciding to actually work with the agent that is not myself or someone else, I highly encourage you to see and test their knowledge and how truthfully it can be to you if they don't understand what Tacoma represents and what area represents because it can be very different than a lot of the others. Now, the last con that you're going to face within Tacoma is going to be the aroma. They're like, what, the aroma? The smell. It's the Tacoma aroma, they call it, and it's going to be coming from the Tide Flats area, or you can just say the Port of Tacoma, because there's a paper mill there that just burns sometimes, and Lord, it just, that smell just, just aromifies the entire area of Tacoma. And unfortunately, that just kind of the byproduct of that business that works there, but you know, that's something only the locals will know. And if you smell something, just know you just witnessed and experienced the Tacoma aroma. All of the cons are finished. You made it. Congratulations. And like I said earlier, if you can listen through all that and you want to hear more and you want to get to the pros, you may have enough resilience and grit to be and say, I'm from Tacoma or I live in Tacoma. There is a lot of good to coming and living within this area and we're going to get to that now. But of course, you still got time to hit that like and subscribe. The first pro that I would like to talk about is going to be the affordability of living in Tacoma, and this is going to be relative to the surrounding areas around it. Now, of course, the average median sale price within Tacoma for real estate is going to be lower in comparison. If you want more data and statistics, there's a video linked above. I do a monthly market update to kind of keep you ready and on your toes for what's coming in the local markets. Now, when it comes to the affordability, the locals still complain about how much it costs to live here in the state, but that's relative because Washington has the second highest minimum wage in the entire country behind California. So unfortunately, when people make more money in the area, it's going to cost more to live here as well as a byproduct. Honestly, it's a teeter-totter system that will probably never be balanced due to how much money you can make within Washington State. Location in general is going to be relative to which part of Tacoma you're going to be living, but regardless, Tacoma does have that ability to allow you to approach in different areas, which allows this to be one of the pros to actually assist you, regardless of where you're going to be commuting to, if you're going to live in Tacoma and its many amenities. Many amenities. <laughs> many abilities of traveling within the area. And look who woke up, oh my God. Okay, so he just woke up, he's gonna need his morning coffee and uh, let's get him some excitement. The next pro is gonna be the diversity that you get with living in Washington. And honestly, it's one of the best ones when it comes to the pros because there's nothing better than getting different cultures and different people around you to actually help grow um, how you act and interact with people. And also a good byproduct is the different types of food that you're going to get from every single different culture. I'm a foodie, I love food, and I love to eat. So if you got a good place, throw it my way, and I promise you, I will be there. Ain't that right, buddy? Now, the diversity is gonna be very apparent in every section, especially when it comes to the education system. And no matter where you look, you're going to see that diversity is going to rank extremely high in comparison to the entire country. Now, the, the good portion of that is just like when you get every different culture, you get differences in terms of honestly how you can act and interact with people and it helps grow everyone together as one. And that's why I like it and that's why I will always put diversity and culture within the pros of Tacoma. The next pro is going to be the secondary education options for you know college and above. Now, personally, I don't have much faith within K through 12, and that's just me being honest. And you know, you really have to pay attention to which school they're going to be going to. But for yourself, when you're going to secondary, meaning University of Washington, Pacific Lutheran University, Bates Technical College, and there's plenty of other technical, like Culver Park. I mean, there is a ton in terms of trying to make yourself better within our area if it comes to the education system, if, if that's within your goal. So it's nice to see that education can be in your backyard and you have the opportunity to grow if that's going to be within your wheelhouse and direction. Oh, baby is done and mama is here. Here you go. She just got back from dropping the kids off. Bye, baby. 
mama just took him and you know we're gonna talk about mother nature and his views i was showing you some of the good views here but anyways when it comes to tacoma and washington state in general the pacific northwest offers some of the best views that mother nature has to offer when it comes to the best hikes trails in the entire country or if you need some water action you're going to have rusted waterfront as well as chambers bay if you got to get your golf on and also take a look from the rocks and stare into the water because you know unfortunately we don't have sand here we have rocks so Whatever beach you get, you're going to get rocks. So, you know, have fun with that. But also the two part is going to be the amenities that Tacoma has to offer. When it comes to Tacoma, you don't have to leave for anything that you're ever going to need because any big box store or any type of storefront you may need to actually satisfy your needs or possibly your family's needs is going to be there and present for you. So you don't have to travel too far. As well as you even need some activities, you're going to have a triple A baseball team with the Tacoma Rainiers. And also when you live in Tacoma, if you need anything else, you just go up north. You may you go, you go and get your, uh, your top golf on where you go a little further you go to seattle you do what you gotta do up there when it comes to this area there is activities and a different states and locations don't have as many activities to offer you which makes tacoma a very good location because you are here where the affordability is better but also you have the easy access to go up north if you need to get some more excitement within your life those are going to be all of my pros when it comes to living within Tacoma. And that's my opinion. My What I've developed since actually deciding to relocate from Puyallup to here due to the location. And honestly, that location has been able to change my life. It's, I've met my wife here. I had my baby. you have seen him. Beautiful little thing. And honestly, there's not much I'd ever would change when it comes to living within Tacoma. Now, if you're looking to purchase or sell real estate here in the area, my contact information is going to be down below. I've reached out. I've helped numerous people move from countless states to actually call this area home. My name is George Rodriguez with EXP Realty. I'm a realtor here in the area and you have a good day.